Today I'm decorating the coffee table and a few other projects. Here we go. All right, you all, I collected my clothes from in the garage. <laughs> it was really cold out there. It's very cold out there. It feels a little grimy. I'm gonna give it a wipe down. This is Penny, for anyone who's not familiar. If you've watched another vlog, you've probably seen her. So this, I have decor shelves out in my garage. And that's where I keep my like year round, like non-seasonal decor. So I already dusted the table yesterday in prep for this. Okay, I know some people are not fans of cloches, but I am. So, you know, different strokes. This one has two little chips, but that's fine. Actually, it has another chip here. That is fine, it's from 1965. So I think it's holding up pretty well little dust on it from you know these things just kind of collect dust over time okay now I pulled some transferware and wiped the pieces down I'm pointing over here you can't see it but I have a bunch of transferware that I collect mostly in greens blues and browns I have a few pieces from that room that are in red and white so I pulled those as well and I also want to try using a tray trays are good because you know, if I have, like in this instance, I want to use several different pieces and I don't want it to feel like my table is just covered and stuff. So a tray makes like a single footprint. So even though I might have six things on here on the table, it's one single thing. It's just the tray and then whatever's on it. So it just allows your eye to make better sense of clutter. So I'm going to put this in here and let's see if he fits. I think he's going to fit. Yeah. Okay. He fits. I think maybe a little greenery. Will be nice let me see i brought some greenery in from the garage from my christmas tubs i thought this could work this is a wreath i got at target a few years ago i bought extras because i thought they were so nice for three dollars i've never used this one i do hang some of these in my kitchen okay. all right in oh well, I don't know if the cloche the cloche is not gonna fit with that it's gonna rest on it which might be okay mm, that doesn't really look the way I wanted it to okay hmm maybe if I bend these things in a little that'll give more of the look that I want it to have and it will keep the greenery up and away from the cloche. Let's see if that's gonna work. I, that might work. They are wired, so I'm just bending them up and in so that, you know, it's not so flat. I don't really want it. I want him to look like he's kind of standing in the greenery. Okay. Penny's like, I don't know who you're talking to, but I'm going over here. Oh, that's better. Oh, I pulled one off, darn. Well, we'll just tuck it out. Let's see if that will work. Sorry, Mr. Santa. I'm to collect all that greenery. Get it. Oh, yes. Yes. Cool. That looks good. Thinking he's just gonna kind of be here in the back. And you know, it's okay that it, there always has to be a back. <laughs> And it's okay that the people on the sofa will see the back. That was That's always the case with a lot of the decorating that I do. Let's get some of the and uh, the transfer wares. This is called the Old Mill and made in England by Johnson Brothers. This is also read called Preparing for Market, an American subject from Courier and Ives Prints, made in the USA by Homer Laughlin. Cool. So that's one this one is green and it says hmm something royal maybe Havana royal uh, something porcelain Johnson Brothers love that one and then this, oh, I have two more that are green I don't have a lot of red so I'll have to make do this one is also um, Homer Laughlin love that one gorgeous right and then I also have this and it's not dirty it's just 
old. I did try to clean it, but that won't come off. And it's not marked. This is a bone dish. And every place setting would have had a bone dish on a, an antique place setting. And you put your bones from like your chicken there. So you don't have to have them on your plate. Okay, so let's see what I think here. Don't want to block the shot. So you might just be seeing my arms. That's okay. All right. So then the spout can kind of hang over and no, I want to kind of go green, red. Oh, it's so pretty. It's pretty. Maybe. No, 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 no. How about this? Oh. Move, move, move. Nice. just so it's pretty. Okay. I like this. I think this has something in it. Okay. I like this. Now I want greenery. See, I'm kind of going for like that antique feel. These are red and white striped. They might be coming off a little pink on camera, but the whole idea here is I kind of want, it was kind of based on these, which I got from the Dollar Tree. That was my inspiration for like this antique feeling. Those pillows I already had, but I'm gonna hang these probably over here and yeah. So that's sort of my inspiration piece. Now I went into my stockpile and I got a bunch of greeneries. So I don't know, I was thinking maybe like a little tree in the teapot, but I don't know what I have that will work. I also have some bottle brush trees. Oh, actually, oh, that's too tall too tall okay so i just have a plain old so let's try the bottle brush trees these are the old bottle brush trees the oldest ones i have mm, i would have to raise that up it's not very wide either this one lights up but i don't have to light it up oh that's cute that's cute let's try like a bottle brush forest let's see what that would look like this one's a great one not old but it is cute oh I love that there's a hair on it that is adorable oh I love the colors with it too there's a hair I can't get it there we go that's cute all right I also have this one this one this little wreath this one that's it on the bottle brush trees let's see what this looks like it's kind of cute um, no that's too small oh nice too small so mm, i don't love that i don't know why it doesn't, it's not striking me no this kind of like that but then it blocks Santa a little bit I guess hmm another bigger one I guess I could prop them up I could put two oh I could do that I could like put two on a piece of floral foam that would be cute well, let me get a piece of floral foam and look I could put prop that there oh that's cute that's cute okay let me get a piece of foam and we'll see what that looks like Okay, I have my whole little box of floral foam. I'm sure something in here will work. These are just pieces from like crafts that I finished and had leftovers. It might work right out of the gate there. Oh, that's perfect. And I can put like moss in there or something or just to cover it. Actually, it's really not even very visible. Should I add an extra just for cuts and giggles? That's kind of fun. Maybe one back here for the people sitting here. Or maybe, should I put one on the bone dish? Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so it's like all my little bottle brush trees. I like this, this is cute. I've got glitter, that, um, those glitter trees, kind of like glitter bombs. Gotta get that off. Huh, well, don't worry, 
about that later. Wow, that's a lot of glitter. Okay, all right. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna call the coffee table good. Wow, except for all this glitter. So I will now have to vacuum off the floor. I just noticed it's off center. <laughs> so there we go, that's better. So there it is, there's my coasters. Those are not an optional thing because people sit there and I wanna save my coffee table. Still not really centered, there we go. It's a little funny because it's oblong, like it's an oval on a round coffee table, but, but I like it. Cute. Okay, let's go in. Cute. Really, really like it. Like it with the pillows. That's going to have, um, I think, a light up Christmas tree. You know, the little ceramic trees will be there, one of them. And then, oh, I have another pillow for the couch. Hold on. There, now I have a little... A little green on the sofa. Great. Oh, I love it. I'm really pleased. Really pleased. All right. On to the next thing. Okay. Here's my jar of Santas. <laughs> I've already taken two out. And I was like, oh, I should film this. So I took these two out already. So this is my wreath from Five Below. It was $5. I'm just going to wire on a few vintage Santas and then hang it up. But, you know, so you don't have to use decor. Like, it doesn't have to be a big DIY, right? You can get stuff and just add your own personal touch to it. Make it what you want it to be. So I've just got floral wire. And I don't want to glue them because I want to be able to take them off if I, like, change my mind someday, you know? So let's decide what's going to be the top. I think that looks good as the top, that nice red ball at the top. So, always good to orient the wreath before you start doing stuff to it. Well, anytime you're making a wreath. And then I'm just going to put the floral wire around his belt. And I think this should hold. Also, my house is in total chaos. I've been decorating. So my mom-in-law went home. And, you know, I work. So I really don't have time... To do stuff except for in the morning before I start work that's what that's when it is right now and then in the evening after work so last night I stayed up till midnight which is kind of late for me oh that looks great and you can't you can barely see it and it'll be at a distance so you really won't be able to see it he's cute this guy's cute whoops sorry I can't see what I'm filming because of the angle but all right so this is the top I think we put one here, right there, facing in a little bit. I think this is going to be a cute way to use some of these Santas. And then I actually have one other thing. If you watch my thrifting channel, you may have heard me mention it. I bought this old, like, we think it was like from a machinist shop's drawer, like a metal drawer. And I'm going to put some of these Santas from this jar in that drawer. Make sure it's around him. I kind of want him facing in a little bit. Number two. Just slip that wire down so it's kind of on his belt so you really won't be able to see it at all. There. Oh, it's slipping up. It's popping up. Hmm. All right, let's find another one. Oh, he's cute. He might be easy because he has a little stem. All right, we'll keep him as a possibility. He's also kind of a funny color, though. Oh, this is the same guy, and he's supposed to have a little... This guy has a little, like, is that a tree or just a piece of greenery? There we go. Now our, our wreath has been added to. That's the top. That's so cute. I'm just going to hang it on the wall, and then I'll show it to you. Okay, upon further review, the, I wanted to add more <laughs> because I felt like they were not standing out enough. It's such a big wreath. So I actually added three more. I added this one. I should have probably put it up here a little more, but that's okay. 
And I added this little guy that's like that spun head, spun cotton head Santa with the yarn body. And then I did add this one just because I think he's so cute. I wanted him on there. So now I feel like they stand out a little more. Oh, so adorable. Just a nice little added touch. And I put it here. I did not want to take my transfer wear down and pack it away for the season because I love it. It's one of my favorite collections. So I just added some Santas and some snowmen. These are the ones they used to come with lollipops or candy in them. And then the kids would have an ornament. So I have a little collection of those. So cute. And someone I think sent that to me. Thank you. So there you go. That's this little corner of the world. Here's what I'm going to do with this little guy. The one with the broken arm. I'm just going to glue a tree on and stick him in my china cabinet. No one will ever see because you're not going to go, whoa, look at his broken arm. You know, I'm just going to look at the front. So that will be good. And then here's my little machinist drawer full of vintage Santas. Hee <laughs> hee. So, so cute. All right, this is the last thing I'm gonna put in a video for this Christmas. I have wanted, this was kind of unrelated to Christmas, I have wanted to hang, so this mirror was here, but it was vertical. I've wanted to have a mirror and a shelf here for a very long time. I actually bought this shelf at Goodwill for $4.99 a very long time ago, probably more than a year. I'm terrible at getting stuff done, that's the truth. <laughs> That's why I don't have my DIY channel anymore. Like I just can't get stuff done. Thrifting is easy, but doing things like this is hard for me. Anyway, so I've been wanting to do it. And finally I was like, I'm just gonna do it. Now I know how to hang a mirror because I've been showing you on other videos, those little hang master mirror hanger things, super great. So there's two of those behind here. And then that little piece there is from Maddie for first year of college. So I like that there, I left that there. And then the shelf, I just used these screw-in anchors that I got at the hardware store, and that made it so I had screwed in the anchor, didn't have to drill a pilot hole, and then the shelf already had holes for the screws. So, got that done all by myself. I'm super proud of myself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it for Christmas. I've already strung these beads here, and I know I wanna have some ironstone, because my ironstone is usually in the cabinet in the corner behind me, so then there is still some ironstone there. I have my transfer wear there. So I just kind of wanted like that cohesion. So I put two of my favorite pictures there. I'm probably gonna put more on the shelf. The other thing is when we change, when I took down the decor from this space, I took down a giant clock and the family really misses, including myself, having a clock here. So I have this one, which I got at Goodwill. It's Eddie Bauer. I got it for $2.99. The price tag is still on here because they stuck it to like, a cork board back and I can't, not really cork board, but this like press board and I don't want to rip it off. So I just left it. And so I am going to put this somewhere here. Let's see. All right. That's okay. I am not great at shelves by the way. So basically what I'm doing is moving a shelf that I had down at the bottom of the landing, which was completely inspired by a, an account called Homemade Vintage, Danielle. She's a thrifter. She's on YouTube and Instagram. This was an Instagram post of hers uh, last year. And so I'm basically moving that decor up here and then I'll just redo that shelf down there at another time. But I'm adding the clock because the clock wasn't down there before, you know, on that shelf. So, um, okay, so let's see what else I have from that little vignette that I had done. Uh, okay, and I just looked at the pictures, so this could, this is an old tin, like a candy tin. I don't remember where I got it. It says Mavis Chocolates Paris, and I just think it's cool and rustic. I like rustic things, and I usually pull it out for Christmas because it's red. Okay, so, and I've got um, the, let's see, Sermons for the New Life by Bushnell. This is from, uh, let's see what year, 1883. And then I like this one because it has a green spine. It's Joe's Boys, which I've actually read. I haven't read this version of it. Um, this version is MCM LV, so 57, I believe, LVII. Um, and it's really nice because it has like illustrated pictures. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, 
Uh, so I want to stack these two. And again, I just pulled these off that shelf downstairs. So, okay. Then I also have a lantern that I want to put. So I had filled this with blocks a while ago. Um, and yeah, I like, I like it just as it is. This was like a year round piece. So this can be a year round piece up here. A little dust on it. I have to dust that shelf down there. So, and this is hard to dust because of all the nooks and crannies, but all right. Now I don't like, I want to put this on an end, but I don't want it right next to the green. So I'm actually going to switch this around so that the green is spaced out. And I read online a shelf should be at least, they say 10 inches. This is probably about 12 inches I measured um, in order so that it doesn't interfere with people sitting. So this is the proper height if anyone's concerned. So, okay. Oh, I got this dusty from my dusty hands. All right. Okay, I like that. Let's see what else I have. Oh, this Danielle, this is totally from Danielle. She had slightly different ones, but I love these. These are like shoe stretchers, but they're really pretty. This is an old set and I think they're really pretty because of the wood. And so that's how she had hers-ish. That's what I'm gonna do. Here, I think it looks cool. And I know this won't be everyone's cup of tea, but that's okay, right? We're all different and we all have different preferences. cute and I want to incorporate a Santa mug because again in the corner here I have all my Santa mugs and so I kind of want to just have some continuity Ooh, the dust from that lantern is getting me and then I would like to have another picture it's kind of I don't mind this I wish this was bigger bigger one looks like. Oh, I like that. Mm. Oh, you know, you have to do what's comfortable for your eye and what look good, look, wow, what looks good to me may not look great to you, but I'm the one who has to live here. So. <laughs> um, okay. I want to incorporate some bottle brush trees because I have that one, but I also have these. This is a really old one. And then this is a newer one. So let me check Danielle's picture for a second to remind myself again of what was on here and then I'll be back. Okay, in Danielle's picture, she has a little like uh, cloth or hanky. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but, and it's like on the books. So I thought I could use this. I have this pretty Christmas hanky. So I think I'm gonna tuck that under here. But then I also have this vintage greenery. I know some of you really don't like plastic greenery, but also over here is my vintage tree and I have like my vintage Christmas display. So I kind of want to tie that in. I also have a little vintage Christmas over on my transferware over here. So I'm just trying to like, you know, mesh it all together. So I think I can get away with this. Do that. Like that. Oh, that's cute. This looks a little, I'm gonna wipe this off. Hold on a second. It looks like it's a little cruddy. Okay, it almost like you had little sticky stuff from a price tag or something. That's cute though, I like it. Now I don't wanna block the wooden things here and I don't want them leaning on the wall. Ah, come on. This one's gonna be fussy. Ah, I want them both bent. They're not being cooperative. There. There we go. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, 
I think I need something else here. Hold on a second. I forgot. I have these. They were Christmas angels, bells, left in. Nope, Napco. I love them. Their wings are mostly broken, so they just look like little girls, but I think they're darling. I love their vintage -y looking faces, and I think they would be really cute. And again, a nice tie-in with my vintage Christmas, but then they also look a little old-fashioned, so I think they'll be really cute here. Yeah. Cute. One more tree. Kind of cute. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Finley, my daughter's dog. He's protecting the house. All right. Let me take the camera down so you can see what I've done. Okay, so here it is up close. I had to adjust something. This Something on that was bothering me, but it's better now. I really like how it turned out. I'm gonna go into these little figurines so you can see them, aren't they? Don't they have the sweetest faces? So cute. And then for winter time, you know, I'll take out the red and green. Well, not the green, probably. I'll leave this lantern and the books and the shoe things and just switch around some of the Christmassy looking accessories for winter time. And obviously take the beads down, so. But I'm really pleased with it. Thanks for the inspiration, Danielle. There's my island. It's a little messy there, I see. Real, real person situation. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.